This is the place. Whoever's in there, just come on out. There's no way out of there, so don't make this hard on yourself. Just come on out. Louise can't find me with you. He can't. Beth? This is it. Finished kaput. Beth, what are you doing here? Um, I couldn't sleep after you left, and I was worried about Sheridan, so I just, I thought I'd come out here and help look for her. I'm so relieved to see that you found her. Thank you. Beth, it's nice of you to be concerned, but I'm fine. Yeah, thank goodness. Some crazy woman did come after her with a letter opener a few minutes ago. Oh, that's that's off, awful. Yeah, we think she may be the one who's been trying to kill Sherry. Yeah, well, she couldn't have gone far. She, she had long, dark hair, blue eyes. Have you seen anyone fit in that description? Have you seen this woman I just described? We have to find her. She's very dangerous and obviously deranged. Deranged? Yeah, she was babbling something about me being rich and how I had ruined her friend's life. I'll never forget that crazed look in her eye when she came at me with that letter opener. We're worried that she might be the one who tried to kill Sheridan by setting fire to the cottage. But we gotta find her and question her and find out if it's the same woman. She couldn't have gone far. Beth. Just think, have you seen this woman since you've been down at the wharf? Um, no. No, no, I haven't seen anybody. No, no one. You sure you haven't seen this woman, Beth? I told you, I didn't. Think hard, Beth. I am. But I know I didn't. No one could have gotten past me down here. I didn't realize this, this is a dead end until I wandered down it. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna slither out of this one, Bethy. I, I wish that I could tell you more, but I can't. I, I didn't see any crazy woman down here. All right, so I'm just gonna have to widen our search then. Sorry. Sorry, I had a little trouble hearing all that. <laughs> You all right, sweetums? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be, Mother? Gee, I don't know. Just seems a little odd, you know, finding you here all alone in some dark, dead-end alley at this hour. I told them. I wandered down here by mistake, that's all. By mistake? <laughs> a dark alley? Ah! That doesn't sound like you, Bethy. You're usually so cautious. So is something on your mind, you know? Because you don't seem like yourself, does she, Louise? You are acting kind of strange, aren't you? It's almost like you're hiding something. Ah! <laughs> See? Right. Right. You are so right. No wonder you're such a good cop, honey. <laughs> so, Bethy, are you hiding something? Ridiculous. Of course, I'm not hiding anything. Louise! <laughs> Honey, did you say something? No, Mrs. Wallace. Oh, must be my hearing again. Would you come a little closer here? <laughs> I want to tell you something. <laughs> you know, I was just wondering, you know, this woman that you're looking for, maybe she could be someplace, you know, around here. You know, maybe she's hiding someplace. Well, if she is, she's not in this alley. I mean, like I told you, there's no one down here. You'll have to forgive my mother, the way she's getting more and more delusional. Oh, did you say something, Bethy? I might. Oh, any luck, Louise? No. 
I just don't understand how that woman could have gotten away with all the cops in this area. Well, what will you do now? I'm gonna put out a statewide APB once I get back to the station. When is this gonna end? I mean, I don't know how much more of the stress I can take. You're right. I have to tell Antonio the truth about us. When? Now. Right here, tonight? You are more precious to me than anything. I can't stand to see you go through this, okay? I'll put an end to it. Maybe she went in a totally different direction. Unless she double backs. Antonio and Hank are coming back. I'll put an end to it now. Oh, it's gonna end all right, Louise. You struck out too, huh? I still don't think she's far from here. Sharon, you okay? Yeah, just a little cold. Come on, let's get you someplace warm, get you something warm to drink. The book cafe is right around the corner. All right, let's go. Hey, Antonio, look, there's something Luis? that I need to tell Luis, um, would you mind helping me get Mother home before you go? No, of course not. I'll just take you home, and then I'll hook up with you guys at the book cafe. Okay, I'll see you in just a little while. Okay. Maurice, honey, you know, why don't you go ahead and go with the others? Beth and I can manage. No. I mean, you and the walker are just a lot to handle, Mother. Mm. Uh, don't worry, it's no trouble at all, Mrs. Wells. Come on. Very well. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. 